And good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Great to have you guys here on this awesome Thursday. Jake DeNovis, Tony, how's it going today, guys? And as we had mentioned on Tuesday, we are out today in the Volvo VNL 2018. We do have, I can't remember if this is the 860 or the 760. Let's take a quick look here. It is the 760. So uh, this is not the 860. And underneath the hood, we do have a we have a D13 engine at 550 horsepower, 18-speed transmission. Hey, crazy, what's going on? And right now, guys, we are sitting here in Huron, California. We are at Sunshine Crops. Uh, the load on the back right now, 42,000 pounds worth of onions. And we are going to be going up to Lakeview. So without any further waiting, let's climb into the truck, get her fired up, and let's get some trucking done. Please proceed to the highlighted route. I am doing great today, Tony. Turn left. Hey, Paul, how's it going? Oh yeah, there's quite a few guys who uh, do those videos for ETS2 multiplayer. This is the VNL, Tony. Paul, we are off for now until Tuesday for Labor Day weekend. Hey, AJ, good afternoon. Awesome like a possum there, Jake. Eric, how's it going today? Welcome to the channel. In 650 feet, turn left. Hey, Randy, great to see you. Really, are you in that much of a hurry to get bread off of your truck there? How's it going? Uh, that wasn't just an idiot, Paul. That was a moron. Cracker Jack box, of course. I haven't got around to it, Jake. I have been extremely busy. Yeah, Tony, you should 
try the Volvo mods from Northeast Freightways. They sound pretty close to what a Volvo does in real life. Yeah, always, Eric. I really don't go anywhere unless I absolutely have to. Otherwise, I would have got a notification. Well, everybody would have seen it. As far as I know, Randy, they weren't. Why can't you, Eric? No computer? they were Volvo white because the Volvo that I drove was actually a Volvo white. There isn't a fourth one that I know of, Tony. The only locations that we know of so far, Lewiston, Idaho, Stockton, California, and Oxnard, California. Not sure about Eric. Probably not because they recognize the operating systems are going to be Windows, Mac, and Linux. to Lakeview, Oregon.
And if we were hauling onions in real life, there would be a door open on the back of the reefer only because, uh, yeah, onions. Your guess would be as good as mine, Nathaniel. I don't have insider info from SCS, and I probably never will get it. And if SCS is going to give exclusive streaming rights to anybody, it's going to be to Squirrel Jeff Fabiano. My channel is piddly compared to those. But anyways, speaking of Jeff Fabiano, all that guy is doing anymore is bitching and moaning about ATS. So, and apparently he's having a bunch of stutter issues in Idaho. Not me. up the salty behavior he's gonna turn into another casket man and he that guy doesn't stream anymore he, he was extremely pissed at SCS right after Oregon came out you know if he should stick to his GTA 5 and flight sim stuff if you're just gonna bitch and moan about ATS take it out of your streaming lineup Which mod is that, James? I really didn't see what mod you had mentioned, so that's why I'm asking. Eric, everyone here is entitled to an opinion. Yours is different than mine and a lot of other people's. You gotta respect it, man. all of them at the same time if you have multiple mods James do one or two at a time and make sure that the game is gonna run without issues Roger that. Uh, yeah, if you subscribe to that on the Steam Workshop there, James, just activate it in your mod manager. And my opinion on people, Eric, is my own. Now, one thing that is different here on my channel you don't see any links for donations, no PayPal me, Super Chat is not active. I do not do this for money unlike other people. So, and if they want to whine and complain, so be it, but I'm going to call them out for it too. Hey Jim, how's it going? Bob, how, what's going on? I thought you weren't going to be here until the weekend.
Uh-oh. What the heck do we have going on here? Roger, no weekend. take a while guys you're not going to find any of the 3000 series cars available on launch day they're all going to be ate up by pre-orders but more than likely i'm going to go with a 3070 but that's not going to happen until next year reviews on that if it is that much you get that much more performance on a 38 over a 3070 it might be worth the extra 200 bucks but chances are once the AIB partners come out with their cards they're going to be more expensive than the FEs anyway How's it going today? Welcome. Awesome like a possum off for the Labor Day weekend. Take care, Jay. Take care of yourself. A good one. Be safe out there. question Randy because it only feels like a few days ago that it was just New Year's trying to pay attention to chat there instead of the road. Chevette for a girl's name, uh, wasn't that like a very small compact car from Chevy?
I remember my brother having a Geostorm. Talk about tiny. is going to be a drop down at the top of your mod manager james you can just switch that to trucks and you should be able to see every truck that you have then hey thomas i'm doing great today a bit before we get to the East Coast, Jake. are so much fun. Because you never actually get to complain because they always add something more and more and more onto them. I have not ran Aerodesk in forever. mentioning your honeydew list James and that it keeps growing and growing and growing that you will never complete it Yeah, 
Wemo has really worked on the dash on this, especially, well, not so much the dials, but the dashboard computer. Uh, he's got things in there added from, like, the Lone Star and the Anthem. I think it looks awesome. I always thought that display was pretty much on par for a 670. you just love random spam calls from the caller ID saying your area code but then the number is nothing like what you have in your area it's like do you morons really think I'm gonna answer that phone like that nope
150 feet, turn right. Did my chat disconnect? Okay, appreciate that. If you, when you're setting the truck up, if you swing around to the back and click on the mud flaps, there will be three options. Uh, there will be your regular mud guards on the front. You will have just plain black flow belows, and then the ones that will match the truck color. Yeah, this is the VNL, the Volvo VNL 2018. I almost called it the 2019. I had to stop myself. on the 579 or 680 though. In 650 feet, turn right. Appreciate that, Derek. We are in Lakeview, Oregon. You have arrived at your destination. <laughs> Look at that, our first back of the day and we get the blind side.
Oh no, we just started, Eric. We're probably gonna go for about two hours. That's all right, we can handle it, Randy. Yeah, but I am gonna do a goal here only because I wanna see how I'm doing. Oh yeah, we just start catching it and we should be all right. There's no way I'm going to get back here in one shot. Come on, Coda. That never happens. I was no rookie that time. Well, let's find out where we're going to go, Eric. Let's go up to Portland, and then where we, uh, Monday afternoon, yeah, that, that will be fine. Alright, Portland it is. Please proceed to the highlighted route. I'm a rookie, guys. Seriously. Outside of Winnemucca. Audacity or something like that and have it here on 
the stream so every time something like that happens I can just push a button and it will play you're a moron our first yawn so if you don't know what the timing in it is on those that means we've got two hours left to drive and we should be hearing one now every half hour and then in your last half hour it seems like it's every 10 minutes that you'll be yawning I know that's what uh, I kind of based that off of was that was easy. I'm just taking a look here. Yep, we're going to stop right up over here. We're going to get ourselves go-go juice, and we're also going to pull into the back there and get some sleep. Perfect timing here in Please Klamath Falls. To the highlighted route. Uh, guess what? We, uh, turned to the wrong one. I thought we were turning here, uh, whoops, my bad. Now guess who's a rookie? Hey, Terry, what's going on today?
not the first time I have done that. Did your game get hacked again, Terry? format your computer like I had mentioned that you have done just to make sure that there was nothing on it. Oh, of course, James. We gotta have some fun. Holy crap, 584? That's not right. That sure is some expensive go-go juice. Gotta be a bug. Navigation resumed. No, we're Oregon. If possible, please turn around. We need to be there by 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so we got about eight and a half hours and mileage left on the trip. Uh, of course, it's not going to tell us since we're in here. Yeah, we'll get that once we get on the road here, so uh, let's get out of here. Guess who came the wrong way? I don't care, we're gonna go out the in and or we'll go in the out. Makes no difference. Yeah, something is definitely going on with that, Terry, if everything that you're adding to it is getting hacked. It sounds like there's there's key loggers or something going on with that computer. So uh yeah, there I don't know why anybody would do that. Navigation resumed. came out right there. Navigation resume. 
and mileage left on the trip is 300. We're definitely going to be there with lots of time. Uh, reformat basically means wiping out the computer and reinstalling the operating system. card number in anywhere on that computer Terry web browser or anything like that call your bank and cancel the card it's actually too hard to explain over this here Terry to be honest with you It's definitely not a parts issue. It's like what Randy says there. It's got to be a virus or a keylogger on there. Happy birthday, Zachary. to just, well, just south of Eugene. We're going to be right around the Canyonville area. 
um, or Willamette Highway, so just right around in there, maybe north if I remember. Uh, we're going to be just south of Eugene, it's going to be all then Interstate 5 up to Portland. What do you mean, took a picture of it? You mean of the key code that you were given inside the box to download it on Steam? then you definitely have a keylogger or a virus on that computer.
where's the left lane? Is it? Saying your password is incorrect? As far as I know, you cannot change the email address on file. Uh, so if he did change anything, uh, it's going to be your password. And I'm not sure how you take a game off an account and throw it onto another. I mean, that's beyond my skill level. But if he bought ATS online um, and then got a code, that means a credit card being put in. I would call your bank, cancel your bank card, and have it reissued, because chances are it's been compromised.
BNL 2018 mod, Jose, which is on the Steam Workshop. There it is. Yeah, 45,000 pounds worth of weight pushing you down the hill. Uh, whoops. Really, all he would need to do, Randy, is get the media creation tool from the Microsoft download site. He should be able to use that Windows 8 key on that computer if there is one and install Windows 10 without any issues. Destination. It's a little heavy on FPS since it was originally a Frank Peru truck. Uh, for some odd reason, I don't know why, but all of his trucks are FPS monsters. Stall it, but uh, good enough, I guess. All right, let's see what do we got here and where can we go. Uh, no, no, no. I could go down to Burns, but I really don't feel like it. Let's see what else is here in Portland. And we can also check Vancouver, too, since we're right here.
man, that's short there, but, uh, let's see, I'm not, don't want to go there, eh, Everett would be alright, it's a little bit, you got anything on the east side of Washington, though, no, alright, so, Everett it is, and, which means we're going to a different Walmart, of course, the one right around the corner, hey, perfect, The trailer is a very light gray, but yeah, the truck is like a baby blue. Absolutely nothing wrong with pink. You can even do that neon pink color. already know with this one here we're gonna have to blindside in order to get loaded you arrived at your destination
Oh, of course we can't bump the dock. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Yeah, this isn't his first account that's been t hacked either, Randy. This is his third one that has happened on. Contact, he said he contacted Steam Support the first time it happened, and they basically refused to help him. Yeah, because uh, he contacted them from a different email than what was on his account, so and apparent, apparently you need to contact him from the same account, and the reason why they refused to help him was his email account was also hacked, so he had no access to it. So somebody is playing some very sick games here with Terry. And it's whoever he got that computer from. There's no way that someone's going to get hacked three times like that without having a keylogger or a virus on the computer. And if I ever buy used hardware, I'm not, I would not put any, I would not use the operating system that they gave me. I would download my own onto there without any question. I, I don't trust people. Not really fault Terry either. He is not that well versed in technology. So, and when I say reformat a computer and he doesn't understand, that's part of the challenge. That why this has happened though too.
And that's the thing though, Terry, ATS requires a Steam account. There is no standalone version that you can download like there is with ETS2. If you go to a store and buy a box game of American Truck Simulator, what is inside is a code for Steam so you download the game. Exactly. That's just a download code in order to get the game off of Steam, Terry. That's it. Yeah, it gives the steering wheel a uh, GT kind of feel, Randy. today on the truck there are going to be three options you got your standard which is mostly all black this touring and then like an exclusive which is your beige and wood How's it going? You're not late, you're right on time. See, with the 567, I will run that interior only because it looks that much better with the heritage trim. Well, that would be uh, on, in Steam, I believe it's games, add a game, and then it will, then you should have a box there to enter the activation code. Or the game key itself is what it is. Use 
the left lane ahead. And Games is going to be all the way on the top above where you see store, library, and things like that. There will be options at the top of there. So it would be like Games, add a game, and then it's like enter a product key is what I believe is those exact steps. Yeah, we are running JBX. Yeah, those plastic uh, rosewood inserts. Marius, what's going on today? Actually, uh, we've got a reefer on today, and we just got a load of used packaging on the wagon going up to Avalanche Steel so they can burn it.
in 650 feet, turn left. Turn left. Hey, you. You can include me with that, Bob. And I even have glasses to go with it. But I do not wear a pocket protector and I don't wear dress pants hiked up with them pulled up so far it looks like I'm walking through a flood. Oh, easily, the sunrise and sunsets are the best part of JBX. Daytime is not bad when there's clouds, but a overly, when there's no clouds in the sky, it's a little bit too bright for my liking, but I can deal with that. Did your mom buy the patches and iron them on? Hey, swing bridges! Now what they need to add besides train whistles are boat horns when they start coming through here. Heck no, Bob. I wish. Oh, that barely fit underneath that bridge over there. The thing better is three times he has bought the game, three different times, and each time his account has gotten hacked. So, and he hasn't reformatted the computer, so we've come to the conclusion that his computer has a virus or a keylogger on it, and he had got it used.
left. Yep, exactly. And which is how he is losing Turn access. Left. You have arrived at your destination. Hey, Anton, how's it going today? Of course, nothing here. All right, let's see what else is here in Everett. All right, let's go along the northern route. We're going to go across Washington 20, and uh, we taking a load of potatoes over to Eddie's in Colville. Works perfect for me. Please proceed to the highlighted route. It's not going to be long after we get loaded, though, that we're going to be sleeping. And really the best part about Windows 10 is you don't need a license or product key in order to run it. You'll just have a watermark on your screen and you won't be able to do any customization, which really is not that big of a deal. Hey, Big Dub, how's it going today? Yeah, I've got hard drives here. If normally when I sell a computer, I don't include a hard drive with it. And hell, even if I go through with, uh, I don't have any professional wiping software. So if someone knows what they're doing, even if you reformat a computer, you can still get bits and pieces of whatever was on it. It's not completely gone. So literally I've taken hard drives apart and burned the platter just to make sure that nobody could access my data.
Hey, Chris, what's going on today? I'm just going to call you there, Mr. A, because I cannot read Russian. arrived at your destination. Uh, roger that on the mixer. Oh, this is going to be ridiculous. Guess where we're at? All the way over on the side. So we're going to just flip a U-turn here and then get lined up to go way over there into the dark. And it really, I not that I would recommend it, but you wouldn't even need to spend a hundred dollars on window. You can uh, go to one of the gray market sites as Kingwin, G2A, and stuff like that. You can get a Windows key for fifteen bucks. Proceed to the highlighted route. All right, before we get out of here, uh, when was this? When is this load due? So we got 326. I want to see how far I have for driving. All right, we still got two hours, so uh, literally, we're not gonna have enough to get over to Omax, so we're probably gonna stop right up here then. So we'll just uh, put our GPS pointer there. All right, let's get out of here. Highlighted route. Oh, you can actually make a pretty good system for four thousand bucks, Chris. And I would go, me personally, I would go with a Ryzen 5 3600. They're about two hundred bucks. Sixteen gigabyte of thirty-two hundred speed RAM. Uh, motherboard, you you really don't need PCI Gen 4 yet, so you can probably get away with B450. That figure that for a hundred. Uh, you can get a pretty good deal on a graphics card if you can find like an RTX 2070 if you want to wait until October, and if you can get your hands on one, a RTX 3070. Uh, you can either use a straight up SSD, you can get a 500 gigabyte for like 50 bucks. If you wanted to go for NVMe, one terabyte is probably going to be about 
a hundred and a quarter. They're still up there a little bit in price, but they are coming down. No, they are at MSRP at four ninety nine, Thomas. announced any of the super cards uh, NVIDIA had, so far has only announced the 3090 which is replacing the Titan MSRP on that 1500 the 3080 which is going to be MSRP at 700 and the 3070 is at 500 bucks and they're saying the 3070 is going to have a little bit more performance than a 2080 Ti You think that's bad, Chris? The NVIDIA Titans the for the 2080, for, for the 2000 series Titans, the Titan RTX, 2,500 bucks. Granted, your Titan RTX cars, they're not for your average consumer or really built for gaming. They're more built for professional uh, people who have, who are running it on CAD and things like that. yourself a good one. <laughs> We're going to be sleeping at a way station. I did not realize this. Western Star has not been released as of yet. We need to be there by 8 p.m. Uh, how many miles? Of course, not telling us yet. Uh, we'll check once we get out of the way station here. See, I, w I 
personally would rather have the 5700 only because it's the latest and greatest from Western Star. Granted, they haven't released their new truck yet either, but that's going to be a vocational truck. It's not going to be over the road, so I doubt if that's the one that we're getting. miles to go we need to be there by eight we got 11 hours yep we're good So there was a lot of speculation today on the SCS forums. The, uh, the Steam database had three updates for ATS today. One of them was called Zebra, another was Cowboy Bebop, and then there was one more that was on there, but I can't remember what the name was. And the speculation going off was just crazy. I'm hoping it's not going to be like any skin packs. ATS does not need that. What we need are trucks. Now the Cowboy Bebop, I'm going to say, is the Western Star. A, that really, it kind of fits Western Cowboy. My money is more on the 5700 than the 49. And once we get Freightliner in the game, then SCS will start adding tuning packs. So, and hopefully we can get something really, really decent for the W9 or 389 to get the truck a little bit of a kick, if you will. love to see the new VNLs, the one that we're, that I'm driving here. I would love to see this modeled. And I've said this before, but yes, we got the older VNLs. That truck was out of production when Volvo licensed it. So my guess is that was part of a package deal on the license to where SES did get the license for the new Globetrotters but also got the licensing for the old VNLs to get that into the game.
my goodness, this engine cannot pull worth a dingy. So we're running a 550 horsepower. We've got an 18 speed transmission. Rear end is geared at 325. So our torque must be like 1650 on this, not 1850 or 2050. It could even be 1752, but it wasn't very powerful, that's for sure. You're not Spurs, this is my last run, however. Did you buy anything? Oh, you moron. Thank goodness you're going that way. Just about called you a moron. Appreciate that, Terry.
Yeah, there's not much diff difference between a 13 and an 18. The one that's really different is a 15, because on the low side, you've got five deep reduction gears, and it, so basically you're splitting the lower side, but you're not splitting the top side. 15s are a different animal than anything else in the game. Super 10s, I mean, they, those definitely take time getting used to because you really shift the truck five times. Otherwise, if you're in first, throw the splitter up and boom, you're in second. I would, I ran a Super 10 here on the channel a couple of times and I was missing gears left and right, over revving everything. I've driven a nine speed around the world. Those things are fun. Yeah, when I first went out of tractor trailer school, the W900 that I was in was a nine speed around the world. Now that would suck, Randy. Turn left. I know when my brother went back to trucking about eight years ago, he did not run, want to run an automatic. Well, the company at the time, that's all they had was automatics. Now he doesn't want to drive anything but an automatic.
normally hear in game the fastest transmission is the seven speed Allison. It seems like no matter what truck that you were in, uh, you can literally haul butt using that transmission. Robin I Robin Icus in order to take his sound mods down. Yep. Yeah, you literally posted a mod on Steam using all of Robin sounds and did not give him one ounce of credit. So basically he said screw this and it yanked all of his mods. It was more than just Travi, there were, it was a lot of people who were using his sounds and not giving him credit. some cojones in order to rip off a mod, use the sounds from it, and claim it as your own. Yes, Terry. I don't say it during the stream is it seems like bagging so I I don't do it Anonymous group updated it for 138 
it was released inside that group with the explicit instructions to not share it outside and somebody did so all the links for in it in the ATS anonymous group ATS mod update group where it was also posted they are gone Chris, I know the older versions didn't. It was just a more decked out version of the SCSW9. Wish her a happy birthday there, Terry. Yeah, so many modders have left ATS because of one POS mods 82 whoever the hell that is literally has caused a lot of mutters to leave the ATS community Theft, though, however, in ATS and ETS2 is pretty rampant. It's some of the worst that I've seen. Whereas the flight sim community, it this doesn't happen. I know what that you meant, farm sim, but the mod theft problem is pretty much non-existent in flight sim communities. Uh, guess what? We came to the wrong location. <laughs> Whoops. I thought we were delivering here. Alright, Coda's a moron. arrived at your destination. Alright, Eddies, I got your potatoes for you. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Normally when I come up here to Colville, I always go to that sell goods and not come to Eddies. It's more a force of habit than anything. Hey, look at that. We got some curb appeal going on. I'm straightening out here. This is our last one. We're gonna play OCD.
Take care, Chris. Alright, and there we go, guys. That is the VNO Globetrotter today, the 760 we were running. If you did enjoy today's live stream, make sure that you leave a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed and you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Enable notifications by clicking on the gray bell. Have a great rest of your Thursday evenings. As always, keep that shiny side up and we'll catch you on the flip-flop.